Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Herman Green. The United States Embassy in Jamaica signaled its intention to boost entrepreneurship in Jamaica today by upgrading the Robeson American Center. The center is named after an African-American political activist, Paul Robeson, who also became famous for his cultural accomplishments. TVJ's Andrew Laidley has the details. The Robeson American Center focuses primarily on science and technology. Robotics and entrepreneurship are also key focus areas. State Minister in the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, Floyd Green, says there are many entrepreneurs who can benefit from what the center offers. My wish, hope, charge is that one, the space will not only be utilized for our creative industries, but also will be utilized to encourage our small and medium-sized businesses. There are so many entrepreneurs right across Jamaica. I mean, every corner you go to, somebody speaking about a business plan. He also emphasized that the upgraded center is in line with plans to boost social enterprises. Social enterprise is an area that is a prime focus for us now. And again, when we see a space of this, how can we utilize this space to ensure that our youth club movement, which we have re-energized, that our youth clubs from standby, can come here and get social enterprise training so they can transform that club into a business that can sustain itself and can sustain the members. Councillor for Public Affairs at the Embassy, Jeremiah Knight, says the centre is prepared to partner with local entrepreneurs once they are willing to put in the work. Very few people in the Jamaican community know that it's free to the public and that we have lots of, of, of tools and, and, and things that they can utilize here at the centre. So we've gone about relaunching the centre, um, renovating the whole entire space, but also providing different programs and activities for the general public here in Jamaica. We're definitely trying to look also for those Organizations that are interested in the areas of entrepreneurship and mentorship reach out to the American um, Embassy, and we definitely will try to work and make that uh, a possibility. Andrew Laidley, TVJ News. We go down to currency trading as the day ended with the U.S. dollar selling for $133.33. The Canadian dollar ended the day selling at $98.78. The pound sterling, $168, while the euro closed the day at $150.38. Oil prices traded lower today. Oil for delivery in March went down by $0.05 cents to settle at $56.42 a barrel. The JSC index gained 3,398 points today, while the junior market index is down 35 points. Among today's winners, Sibony Group, Seprod, Stanley Motor, Wisinko Group, and Portland JSX. Now on the losing side were Jetcon Corporation, Caribbean Flavors and Fragrances, Dolphin Cove, Elite Diagnostic, and Indies Pharma. And that wraps up the business day. I'm Herman Green. Good evening.